Hi, hello friends. I hope everyone is doing good. In this video, we are going to learn more about Ontario Photo ID card, which is provided by the Ontario government. So first place, you might be thinking, why I need to get my photo ID card? So this photo ID card, it can be used as a valid ID proof in many cases where you need to present your ID. So for example, like uh, if you want to uh, show uh, your ID proof to get your new connection, uh, can be for the internet or for your mobile, or you want to put this one address in wherever the places your address proof is uh, asked, even for the bank accounts as well. There you can present this photo or this ID card as one of the valid uh, proof of IDs, and then uh, you can use it for that purpose. In this photo ID card as the sample I have presented here, it shows the legal name of yours, date of birth, and the address that you live with in Ontario, your photo, and the signature of yours, which is, I think, uh, uh, are most of the elements that are required uh, uh, for any address uh, or for any ID proofs. Now we will see who can apply for this. Uh, as uh, as a as a person, the well, someone living in the Ontario province, it is uh, it is recommended or it is advisable for you to have one ID card. So this photo ID card is one of such ID cards, but you can apply for this photo cards only if you don't have a driving license already of issued by the Ontario government. If you have a driving license, then you don't need to apply for this photo card. It's not required. In case if you want to apply for the photo ID card, please be aware that your driving license might be canceled. And in case if you want your driving license again, you need to go through all the tests starting from license G1 to G2, G, G whatever license you are having earlier. And you can apply for this photo ID card in case you don't have any intention or you don't want your license, uh, you are not applying for your license in any future. And you can apply for this uh, photo ID card if you don't have a valid ID from any other province in Canada. In case if you have a valid ID from other provinces in Canada and you are trying to move in completely to Ontario to some other Ontario location, then I think you need to first cancel that photo ID of that location and then apply for the photo ID of Ontario. We have seen who can apply. We can also see who can't apply. Similar to the points that we have discussed earlier, if you have a driving license, you can't apply for this one. It's, it's not like that you can't, you can still can, but your driving license will be cancelled. So if it is me, I will not do that. If you are planning to take the driving license soon, say suppose you have a plan to apply for your driving license uh, down the line, like uh, four or five months or six months or next year. Uh, if it is If it is within the month, then you don't need to apply for this one. If it is some next year or sometime, then still you need to have some valid ID proofs. You can apply for this photo ID card uh, as the time being photo ID un unless until uh, you get your uh, uh, driving license. Once you get the driving license, you need to cancel this photo ID because it, it is either or. Either you can have the driving license or the photo ID. You cannot have both. And you don't have, uh, if you have a valid uh, photo ID from any other province, then you cannot apply for this one until unless you cancel that uh, earlier one. Now, uh, we have seen who can apply, who can't apply, why you need to apply. Now, how to apply? The process to apply for the photo ID card is very simple. First, you need to do is find the nearest service onto your location. Because to get a new photo ID card, you need to visit the service Ontario locations like service Ontario centers nearby you uh, for that one 
what you can do is you can go to google and search for service ontario and open the home link of service ontario there you can in the service ontario you can check for the hide this thing so that there you can search for the locations it will give you the link for service ontario locations hours and contact here in this page you need to enter the address or the street that you are living by if you if you can enter the postal code you can directly enter the postal code eglinton avenue east i enter and it is also must to provide the purpose of your visit because each service location can offer you many services but still like uh, you need to uh, give that uh, proper uh, look uh, service that you are uh, intended to take it from the service ontario so that they can filter it out and provide you the best locations nearby which offers those services here i am searching for the photo id card get an ontario photo card so then i'll search for this even if you see here sorry uh, after i enter uh, eglinton avenue east and this uh, photo card here you can also see the other options of appointment booking offer and languages of services like french available like you can select these also if you prefer to have uh, like any specific requirements of this one so uh, if you want to book an appointment prior to that one, you can select this one so that it will filter it out and uh, give you only those locations which offer you the prior appointments. Uh, prior appointments. If uh, some locations doesn't offer prior appointments, uh, then what they do is like they uh, accept everyone in the walk-in and they give uh, the priority after uh, whoever walks in uh, earlier. And they have some locations with the French available also. So here I'm, I don't want to give any other op uh, options here. I will just give a search for this. It is listing me out all the locations that are close to me, my location and the serv uh, service that I requested for. Uh, here you can um, check what are all the services. Uh, these are the locations uh, that are uh, filtered and uh, provided to me. It is all the locations close to me. And then uh, if I fill, uh, if I want to know more about this location, this particular location, say, suppose I want to know more about this one, then you can always click on the details and directions. It will give you all the uh, locations. So this particular service Ontario is located uh, in the staples. Uh, in the recent uh, uh, the recent move from the government, I think uh, they have uh, in, they have established this service Ontario in uh, staples locations, few of the staples locations in each of the districts in uh, uh, in the GTA. So this is one of the location. So you can see the operation hours for this location. It operates from nine to nine uh, during all the uh, weekdays and weekends. On Saturday also, it is open nine to five. Before you visit, uh, these are all the things that I which I have been explaining before. Uh, and then uh, it also lists out all the location, all the services that are being provided by that particular location that you are selecting. So here in this location which I selected, it offers all these locations. We are con we are looking uh, more uh, towards this photo card in this video. In other video, I will try to provide uh, details about all the other uh, services provided by the service Ontario, and in which case you want to use which service and all. Uh, here, uh, if I, uh, what we can do next step is, uh, after you find the location nearby to you, it is always recommended to book an appointment uh, prior to your visit, so that the total turnaround time for your service is reduced uh, 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 drastically. Actually, so it it will save a lot of time of yours if you have a prior appointment appointment. 
So here uh, you can book an appointment from this uh, website itself. I'll show you how to book an appointment. Here you it will ask whether you need a sign language uh, interpreter or a deaf blind uh, intervener. Uh, if you if you are that person seeking for that kind of help, you can always choose yes, otherwise no, and then book an appointment. Here again, I have to provide the service that want to get it done from the location. So which is photo ID. I'm clicking next. It is also asking like for how many uh, services you need. Like it is for one person, one child, one parent and all. You can always choose it from that location, uh, from that here. Even if it is child also, it just, it is the head count only. So if it is uh, two adults and one child, total three. Otherwise it is uh, one adult, two adults, based on like your requirement you can choose the number of things this will give an idea to that uh, service uh, location uh, when you are booking the appointments how many people are expected in this appointment so next again it will ask for you to enter that uh, location precisely if you have it otherwise you can just search for this one again how i said earlier eglinton avenue east uh, then i search for scarborough and then it will give you all it will all give you the all lo locations nearby this is the location which i was looking and i booked the appointment here and accessibility request i don't have anything if i see there is no requests uh, or the appointments are not available so this looks like a busy location not every location will have this busy schedule some might be having free time so you just have to uh, go and see like what dates it is available how you can find which day it is available is by looking at the calendar that is shown it here. If it is showing the date is displayed as bold, which is like highlighted in this way, like this is grayed out, this is bold. So in, in this case, it means like there are few slots available for that day. So you can select that day and then see for below like what slots available and you can book any slot that is uh, suiting up to your uh, needs. So you can choose the date and the time. So for example, here I'm selecting that is like uh, on 26th, 11.35 uh, appointment, I'm picking up it, picking it up. And then I said that I'm not a robot and then click on next. Here it will ask you about all the details of yours, who is uh, actually booking the appointment or who needs that service. Then um, you can provide all the details, name, uh, email and uh, the language that you need the service in phone number would you like uh, like to receive a text message appointment reminder and all these are all you can uh, opt in and then after you enter all the details once you confirm and book a text message will be sent to your uh, phone as well as an email will be sent to you uh, uh, sent to your uh, email id the, on the email id that you have provided here uh, which will confirm you about the appointment so this is how you book an appointment. After you booked an appointment, next thing that we need to uh, see is, here we have see how to apply in the nearest uh, service Ontario centers. And then you will apply, uh, you have booked an appointment. And after that, you need to gather the required documents. So the required documents to apply for a photo ID are, any ID that proves your legal name and date of birth. So you are applying for an ID proof. You might not be having any other ID proofs, right? Uh, which is for that uh, Ontario. But if you are not having the Canadian passport and if you are having any other passport that you can carry, which shows your legal name and the uh, your uh, birth date, you can also, if you are a uh, uh, permanent resident, you still want to have this photo ID card, you can take that PR card with you. Or if you have a date of birth certificate from any other country or any other regions or anywhere like that also you can take it up. All that it has to show is your legal name as well as your birth date, which confirms both in that document. So there can be a question. Why you need to apply for a photo card? after you having a PR card or a Canadian passport. Still, it is, uh, I would recommend you to go out and apply for a photo ID card because this photo ID card, it is easy to show it anywhere rather than carrying your passport or the PR card wherever it is required to show your ID proof. 
So this uh, photo ID card, you will have your legal name, date of birth, address, signature and everything. But in the passports and the PR card, you won't be having all these details uh, displayed or showed in those cards or the, or the documents. So even though you are having these documents and you are not having a driving license, it is recommended to apply for a photo card. And next document that you need to carry is your marriage certificate. Uh, if you are applying uh, under your married name. So for some people, it might be having a different uh, family name after marriage. So for them, if you want to apply for that uh, uh, photo ID under your married name, then it is, uh, it is required to take your marriage certificate in original to the center. <clears throat> and any of the uh, any of the ID proof also that I mentioned in point one in originals. So these documents, after they verify, they will hand over it back to you. So you need not to worry about the originals uh, being carried to there. And, uh, and any proof of address that you need to uh, provide to them, which has your name and the address in that document. So this proof of address uh, you can carry are like many documents few of them are like your utility bills if the utility bills are under your name and it has the address and the bank statements and also your phone or internet bills or any uh your uh and the notice of assessments from the cra as well those also you can take these are the few documents that you can take but you can always uh check it up uh, with them priorly, like uh, what documents uh, you can carry for these things. I'm sure these you can take it. On top of it, one more advantage is if you have any of these, any of these uh, documents listed in here, if you are having them, then you can show or display them in your device also in case if you are not having them readily printed or you are not having any hard copy of them with you uh you if you don't have any hard copy you don't need not to worry you can still open that or download that uh, document in your device and you can uh, show it on the device in them they will still accept those kind those documents as your proof of address after you gather the documents next thing that you will be doing is at the service location at the service uh, ontario location on that uh, day of appointment you just have to walk in uh, to that uh, uh, service Ontario location where you have booked your appointment or if you don't have appointment and there's uh, something uh, nearby, you can walk into there. But people who have an appointment will be given priority to the people uh, other than uh, rather than the people who are just walking in there. If you are walking into that uh, location, you might be uh, waiting for a longer time than the people who have already having their appointments booked. If the location is a very big one, having multiple counters, then the service might be completed uh, sooner, uh, even if you walk in, or it, it might take the same amount of time even if you walk in or if you book an appointment, if the location is, a, is having multiple counters. If the location is having a, a less number of counters, then it is always recommended to book an appointment. Without appointment, uh, the uh, waiting time to get your turn is very longer if you walk in. After you visit that uh, service Ontario location, first thing that you need to do is go to the check-in area. Either it can be a reception where there will be some representatives uh, collecting uh, the information or the purpose of your visit there uh, and you can they, you can always show your uh, appointments if it is if it is booked in that center and uh, or or if it is not a representative and there is a no reception area there will be a kiosk so there will be a check in kiosk uh, displayed in there or placed in there you just have to find for that one after you go to the, any either of these uh, places, first thing that you will be getting is the token. You will be given a token based on the purpose of the visit, right? Uh, you have to uh, take the token. The token will be having an alphabet followed by your numbers 
like example like axxx pxxx vxxx wxxx anything like that that xxx is the uh, number which will uh, give you an idea saying that how many people are ahead of you or how uh, how many people are still waiting uh, in that category for that service to be uh, give, given to you so once you take the token uh, your token number uh, uh, will be displayed on the uh, televisions or any displaying screens that are provided in that facility you just have to look over for your number once if it is your turn then the number will be shown on that display area as well as it will be called saying that so this pxxx counter 5 px or vxxx counter 4 like that it will be called and once you have that uh, token and that counter displayed on that one you just have to walk into the uh, counter uh, that is uh, that you are called upon uh application form for photo id for this photo id ontario photo id application form will be provided by the representatives at the counters you don't have to fill it up prior priorly they will provide you all uh, uh, a form and also the instructions on what to be filled where to be filled and how all the instructions will be given to you it, it will be very quick it is not much it you have to fill it fill up i have provided a sample here if you see, this is how that uh, application for Ontario photo card it will be. So there are places here like this. I have made it as like masked them for the uh, privacy reasons. So all these details will be filled up in, in the form that will be given to you. You will actually see the details that are uh, present uh, available in that form. Like here, like the name and address is printed here. You don't have to write any name and address. It will be printed. You have to write the phone number. This will be instructed by the representatives present in there. Among all these highlighted areas, all the masked areas, what areas you need to fill it up, what areas you don't need to, they will provide you with the uh, instructions. All you need to do is just follow the instructions, listen carefully and follow the instructions. This is just a sample form. I'm keeping it here. After the application form is all filled up and fees paid, how the uh, how much is the fees and how you can play, pay? So the fees for the photo ID card is dollar thirty five Canadian dollars, and how you can pay is through either cash or debit or uh, credit. They accept both Master and Visa or the check. It has to be in the name of the service Ontario. So please check the details in the website uh, if you are uh, providing a check uh, or the instructions so you, you can get it from the uh, representative there. So it can be either through cash, through card, visa, uh, master, debit, credit, or it can be through uh, uh, um, or, or, or it, it can be through that check. There is an option to pay online also. That option, I recommend you to check with the representative available there on how to transfer or how to make the payment online. After the fees is uh, paid, your application is already filled. The next thing is they will capture the photo. You don't need to take uh, any photo copies uh, or, the, or the copies of any photo of yours to the location yours or your family to the location they will uh, take your photo all the service ontario locations are equipped to uh, take the photos of the customers at that place so it may be like you might be applying for a health card driving license or if you are applying for a photo card like this or any other uh, services that you are using which requires photo you don't need to carry any photos to the service Ontario. They will uh, take the photos uh, uh, from the using the equipment or the setup they have in their locations. Once they uh, advise you to go to that uh, photo area where they can click the photo, you just have to walk it into there and then uh, take the photo. Get the photo clicked. Once the photo is clicked, they confirm that one. And if it is all good and uh, uh, your photo will be captured, 
and after the photo is captured uh, your fees is paid your application is filled up that's it all done for the photo id uh, the usually they mention it as like uh, four to six weeks to get uh, the photo id through post like uh, through mail into your mailbox on the address that you have provided to them you will be receiving that one in four weeks to six weeks period time so after you get the photo id in your mail you can use the you can start using that one as your valid id proof going forward i hope this video is helpful for you and uh, uh, i keep watching uh, for any other videos uh, for other videos uh, in my links if you have any queries please leave a comment on the uh, comments leave a comment in the below i will try to answer all the queries if you have any Thank you so much.